Alright. Ready? Are you ready to see it? Yes. Are you ready to see it? Uh, there it is. Uh, but you're going to have to wait till the, the end of the four parts to actually see it go, right? Yeah. Hey guys, Tank here and Sebastian's here. Uh, we're going to keep continuing to build and we're going to keep continuing at step five. Uh, and we're at the transmission and now this is the drive gear and a bunch of another step. Uh, we stopped uh, last time, uh, we installed the uh, transmission and finished transmission and uh, installed the motor on the CC01. So now we're going to keep going. So this thing is getting uh, some weight onto there. So Way more heavier than the last time. Yeah, because it's got all the gears and all the front the front motor. So now we're going to keep going and putting some gears on the bottom and a bunch of different places. So let's keep having fun. You got to find D13. Okay, we got the parts together, and now I we have to find D13. I have it. I think right it's 13 here. Yeah, right here, 13. Yeah. 13 and then it's this part. D13 is this part right here in the corner. Well, we have the same parts. Of course, we need two of them. Okay, well, I'm going to cut it after. Can I cut it? Yes, sir. Wait. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. If you guys want to see, I'm just... No, don't know that. Always put the straight cut to the to the part. Dunk. Okay, we got that. We got that. Okay, now we have the two parts. We got the part. Yes. Sir. So now we need to put this together. Now it has uh, what some people call a C clip or even an E clip. They call that a, a clip. Why E clip? I because mean. it looks like a knee. Yes and no. And it also looks like a C-clip. So some people call this a C-clip. Some people call this an E-clip. Uh, here in the instruction, it's called an E-ring. So we have to install this clip onto here. And the way you do that, it goes on here on the short, the long end on this side. Clip goes into this groove. Now, the way I do it is I put it right on top of it okay like that it can't go anywhere and then I take my needle nose and I go right over it and then I put it on an angle like that and then I just push down but I keep my finger on top of it because it might fly out and now it actually clipped on there so everything is clipped so I did this because this is kind of complicated to do and to put so it doesn't fly off. So now we got to put a little grease. So let's find the grease. And we're going to put a bearing in there. So I'm putting a little bit of grease. Like I mentioned earlier, we don't theoretically have to put grease on here because we are using a bearing now and not a plastic bushing. So there we go. Just like the picture. Yep. So now we need to slide this thing in there. Now does it have a certain way it goes in? I don't think so. One way or the other. So you hold that. You have to spread it. This or this one? Well you gotta put the that bearing in there. And no, not the bearing, no. It goes on the on the long side. Wait, okay, well, I wait what what do you say? So now I do oh, this. Oh okay. So now I take Oh, okay. Wait, that comes That's through. it. Yeah. So? Yeah. Put yourself in the picture. You're not in the video. Like that, and then like that. Yes. Now you got to take the small bearing and put the small bearing at this end. It's right here. I said to put grease, but I don't know if it's. Now I'm going to put this uh, bearing in it. Got it, now it's clip. And yeah. 
So there we go. So now little bearings on that side. So that's done. So now we got to do these parts. Now this is kind of not really tricky, but what we have to do is you have to put these the same way as the drawing shows. Because one is on the right, one's on the left. Oh yeah. I see. So the way I like doing it is I put it just like the drawing, one's on this side, this one is like this. So this one is like this, and the other one is like... Uh, it's like this. No, it's not. Uh, flip, flip, bow. Okay, I'm confused. Yeah, you got it. So one, this one is like that one, and that one is like that one. Now we have to install these little thing onto there. So that means it goes on this side and this one goes on that side. So these have little holes here on the sides. So it actually goes in one of the holes and there it is, it goes in this one. So you can actually use this and actually help screw that onto there. So you hold it and then you just turn into it and then you just keep turning until this, look, look, you turn till this hits the top there. And not more than that because you don't want to strip it. So it's almost there. So now it's nice and tight onto it. So this one is that one. Now you can do the other one. So this and then this one. Now I take this, put it in that hole right over here. Oh, I'm trying, guys. One sec. The tricky part is to actually do this sometime under the camera because you're kind of stretching yourself and putting a different way. So. You don't have to push that hard. Okay, now you've started to push, so now you don't have to push anymore. Just turn. Now back it up, and you'll see. Now take your tool off, and you'll see how deep you are. Okay, yeah. But you're not the main. Not that far. Okay, should be good. Yep. Yeah. It's touching. There you go. So now we got both of these done and they are on the right side. So this does match that and that does match that. So we got that gear and we got that. So let's go to the next step. Okay, step six says we need two of those big long screws. So it's pretty simple. Those are the two there. Uh, we also need uh, six of those. I think it's this one. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that those are all the, Six. the screws that are leftovers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I'm going to go on Okay. Sit there. D don't worry about it. Like just okay, there. now we need a set screw. That's they easy. call it a grub screw. There we go, that one. And, or like a door thing to open. A door thing? Yeah, a door looks like a doorknob. See, there's times two. So that means you need two of them. It's the second one. Now we need to find the next thing. Or the next thing is a door thing. A door and like, a like screw. Oh, yeah, it might be yours. Yeah, because look, there's two different sizes. So that's so, we this need two of those and two of those. Oh. I think There's a lot of them. Like that, yeah. Like that. <coughs> okay, so now we're going to need that transmission case underneath it. I think I saw that earlier. And again, it's a chrome piece. A black chrome. Uh, C4. But if you want to, like, uh, be under a camera, you can maybe like put it closer. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, so now we're gonna turn this around. Look, there's white stuff. It's um, there's white stuff in there. 
it's the grease. So it says that the shaft, this shaft has to be towards the back. Now this goes like this, and there's your output shaft for the dry shaft at the back. And again, here they recommend to put some grease. So I'm gonna just gonna put some grease onto here, going forward. Then I'm just gonna flip this around. And once we turn everything, everything should grease itself. There we go. And now we need to put this guy. This guy is only one way it fits because the output shaft goes over here. There's a bump. So we're going to pop that on there. Nice chrome piece at the back. And then they recommend doing two of these screws. So we're going to put two of those screws onto here. Okay, so the output shaft is actually installed for the rear axle. So everything is there. Cool. Good, good, good. <coughs> okay, now we got to install some of these things. Now this is becomes a little tricky because see you got to look a long screw goes all the way through the body and attaches to that. Now where do you think they go inside? Oh uh, wait, so so if I put this this drawing like it is there, like okay, so like that. And the long, so we're doing this one and this one. This one? Okay, so that means that there's a, I guess like this one. There's the another one. I think it's there. That's where you, there's a long screw, you follow the line, see? I think it's this one, and it's, no. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know, like, where it stops. Because, I don't know. Cause like it seems here somewhere. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking it's this hole goes through there and it attaches to that one. Cause see it shows this ball is right on the side here. I wasn't looking at that. And now we have to attach this onto there. So this is going to be a little tricky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that real quick. You hold the screwdriver with the screw for now. I'll take that. Put this ball doorknob, like Sebastian calls it, into the tool. Now I'm going to put this onto there. There we go, we got one done. See how it looks like? Cool. Now, since we're on this side, we're going to put the other one, which is a very short screw, a 10 millimeter one. So that's. A 3 by 10. Yeah, that's one of the... No, it's a small screw like that. I don't want to lose it. Need that one there. Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to take our black part that we made earlier. And the ball has to be in the front. This is going to go here. See where there's uh, two little holes here? Yes. This is where this little hole goes onto here. Do we need to put another uh, screw? Yes. So I basically put that in there where it goes. And it does show that this goes on this side. And again, this is a little tricky to hold and all that, so I'll do it real quick. There we go, the two ball hands are done on that side. Let's see the other there. side. We're, we're getting there. We're getting there, yeah. The 
It's like building like something like for school. Okay, uh, hold the body. Install this. This guy towards the front. The ball goes towards the front. Okay, so you screw that one in. I'll hold it. Go ahead. That one is actually screwed in softer plastic, so it's going to be easier for Sebastian to actually do. Okay. So that's done. Okay, so now at the back, right here, we have to install our uh, two uh, big ones. And see, you have to look at where the holes are here. And you got to find out on here where they are. Okay. Okay, which one? These two or these two? I mean, wait, for which one? For these, for these big ones. Okay. Again, these are a little tricky. You got to start them off straight. Just to make sure nothing gets stripped. I'll do them real quick. Which strips like like where I'm going strip to... means you're gonna you're putting them crooked and then you're gonna strip it means they're gonna turn and turn and turn forever and they can, might pop out easier uh, might pop out easy oh. so it's like when you're screwing a screw and then it won't tighten it won't tighten and it's gonna come out very easy so let's pop this in there and again I'm making sure I don't tighten it too much. But here, these threads, they go pretty deep, so you do have to turn quite a bit. Yes, I could use a driver and use a drill, but because I'm drilling in plastic, I want to make, uh, not drilling, but screwing in plastic, you do have to be careful. That one's done. It's hard on the fingers because it's hard. It's hard to turn, and these things are not the most comfortable things to to do. Okay, that one's done, and that one's done. Okay, now we have to find these parts. which are basically the uh, D3. So here's a tree for you. You can find the D3 onto there. D3? Found mine. Did you find yours? Yes, I did. This one, right? Yep. Can I do it? Yay! Do it. Put yourself under the camera. The ball. Right. There we go. That is done. And now we have to put the little balls on it. Again, you got to use this guy. To put, pop it on this side, and then we're going to have to screw that onto each side. So it goes towards it goes towards the outside of the little ball. So you have to put that onto here this way. So I'm going to start it real quick. So it goes on that side. Give me the other one. I'll start it, and then you can finishing it off here. You can use that one. Screw that one in there. And I have another. <clears throat> oh, that's not the right one. Okay. And you gotta try to do that at behind at, at the camera. Because it's like far? Okay. Got it. I'm done. I'm done too. 
Yeah, it's good. I don't want to put it too much like you told me, so. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now we gotta screw those onto onto there. One is that way, the other one is the other way. Should work. And it's screwed from this side. So let's get two screws. And we gotta put them in the front. See there's two spots? Mm -hmm. for, for putting it, so in here there's two spots, so we gotta put it at the right one. So we gotta put it there, our screwdriver. There's a lot of little tiny parts to put on these. Yes. I hope it's going to be a good uh, car, a good RC, and I hope um, it's going to do well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is what's called a trail truck. It's not really a crawler, like to compete like the ones we have. Oh. But it is still going to be doing pretty good, and we are going to lock what's called lock the rear diff. The diff at the back, we're going to lock the two wheels so it rolls better. The front, we're going to leave it unlocked, and and that's what we've done. So there we go. Uh, the links for the back ball and the balls there for the links also are installed. So we use the two front ones and the two front ones here. Uh, if you have a longer wheelbase, then you attach it here. But in this case, we we use the front ones. Okay, that's done. That's done. <coughs> now we got to install the dry shaft. So again here, dry shaft goes on to there, and let me turn the dry shaft real quick so we can have a I just turned it so we can have a flat spot on top because the screw that we're gonna put here needs to be on top. And we also need some Loctite on there. Anytime you put me a, a metal screw onto metal you always use what's called Loctite. If you're screwing into plastic, you do not need Loctite. The plastic already acts like... Good to know. Oh, now it seems more like it's starting to look like a, a real RC. Yep. Yeah. There we go. Dry shaft is installed. What is weird is these things. We didn't see where we put these guys yet. Uh, we probably will. Okay, so that's done. That's done. All that is done. And now we go to the linkage. These are the steering linkage. This is going to be long. Really? No. Really? Oh. And that's in. Uh, that's in bag. You could have said it was um, not long like that. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, for step seven, I opened up bag B. So, bag B. And I spread out all the stuff. So now we got to find uh, two of these balls. A doorknob with a screw. So, I'll just put these on top here. Now, find me two of these little rods there that are screws on each side. I think. Are you sure? No. Do they I'm have Do sure. they have these these threads on each side? No, but I don't see which. Oh, this and this. That's correct. So yeah, we'll put that there. Put that there. So now we gotta find B nine and B six. Wait, is that for here? Yes, it is, but it's okay. We can have it up there. That's the, that's okay. Like that, they're not in our way. Uh, Do we need that? Oh, yeah. Okay. B6 and B9. Uh, this is a B tree. So this is the servo and some uh, carriers. So we got to find B6 and B9. B6 is this one.
Then B9. Now we gotta find some D2. Some D2s, we'll need about four of them, I think. D, 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 D2. These are all D2s. Now, you're gonna have fun. Because you gotta screw these thing onto these. And let me tell you, it is painful. So, okay, uh, I do the add. tool that might help you with this. This is kind of a, uh, this is a tool for shocks and also to help with the um, uh, holding the small parts. So basically what you do is you can actually hold this in one of the slots like this and you got to hold it where there's no thread and then you can hold this better and then just screw on to the other part. So yes, we'll, I'm going to do that. So we'll put it on this one. You hold like tight? Yeah. You gotta hold it tight and then you screw that onto there. Makes it way easier. Okay, not too much. That should be good. Now do the other side. Is take, it? Take another one, put it on the other side. Uh, I'm gonna do like that. Yeah. Because I'm right-handed. That's way more easier. Okay, now stop. Now put it on top of the drawing here. This is exactly 16 millimeter. So they actually do this. So now you got to take it apart, take it off of there. And you got to put it onto this, see? So now you got to go more on each side. You're probably going to go until you don't see the thread anymore. And that should be close. But you got to stop before the thread. Put it back on your tool. Now, see now it's turning. You gotta hold this tighter. Are you? Can you still see the thread? Yeah. I think that's good now. Okay. Now do the other side. This one is, and that's good. Both of them has to line up. Oh. Okay. Right. It's okay. Put it on top of the drawing. One sec. Whoa. Is that good? Mm. You put it on top of the drawing and you look. I think it went in a little too deep because when you look at here, it's a little too much. So I'm just going to back it off uh, two turns, two or three turns. And now, if I look at that, it's perfectly here and it's perfectly there. Nice. Okay. There's another way to do it. It's called a caliper. If you have a tool, you can actually measure. Uh, if it actually fits uh, those not everybody has those that's why it's easier to do it with this but there is a cool little tool that you can get which is called a digital caliper and you have that of course I have that so it goes here zero and then you can actually come here and and go into the two and we have 15 point that's cool 15.2 so that means we gotta go one more turn or half a turn that's so cool I like this so now we can measure and see if we're okay mm, no. nope so we'll go down to zero stretch it out Now we're good, pretty, pretty much. Pretty close. That's the closer that we're going to get, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. How do you, like, okay, I'm not, I don't want to. Okay, how you do that is you close it, and then you just put your finger on the ball here, and you just go back. 
and that's going to measure inside or on the outside. You can do that. Oh. So that's to measure uh, a, a certain distance. So now let's do the other one. Okay. Now the the other the other one is there. When you put it in the hole, put it in the one in the center. It's going to be easier for you to hold. And I'm going to make sure this is exactly at 16. Always perfect, huh? Of course. If you're going to do a job, might as well do it right the first time. Yeah. I'm going to be like, like that. I'm going to see a little bit and I'm going to adjust it after. And when you do that, I'm going to install the other parts on to this guy. It's like a, a tag team. He does one thing and I do the other thing. This one goes there. So, so I now you need to measure it. I think it should be. Here, measure it. I don't know how. Okay, I'm going to try. Well, try on the drawing if you want, or try with the caliper, the digital caliper. Wait, so like that? I'll do like that. And I... Why is it not turning now? It's not turning. Oh, no, I know. You need like, to press it. Yeah, but you you gotta hold it in your hand. You gotta you gotta make sure you hold it. Like like. <laughs> oh, fifteen point seventy seven. That's pretty good. But we'll just unscrew it one uh, just a half a turn. Okay. Okay. You you try. I'll try it, and then you can practice on it again. I got fifteen eighty five. Do another half a turn. Perfect for a perfect RC. Two. So That's we'll go a down. Yeah. We'll zero. And then we'll see. Fifteen thirty-two. I think we went a little bit too much, so we should should go half. Bring it back half. Sixteen oh six. Oh, pretty that's close. good. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So if you want to practice measuring, you can. What I usually do is I bring it down a bit. I lean it on one side, and then you just pull back. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can push on one side, and then you come back. You start with one, and after you go, okay, I'm gonna try yeah. that. It's it's a, I I like this thing. It's I got that, but I yeah, sixteen ten. That's good. Yeah, I got sixteen ten, but whatever. All right, well. We got okay. that second one too. So now this is kind of tricky because we got to snap this onto there. So yes. it, it is very tricky to do because you got to hold both of them in in your hands and then take your pliers and actually squish them together. So it is kind of tricky, and especially to show on camera. Once you got it on top, you, and it goes clip, and everything's attached. Now they do say to take this little bar. It goes in between. This goes like that, and this one goes on the other side. Now a lot of people don't like this steering or the way the steering works on this, and there is modification. But for now, we're going to keep it the same as what it shows on the on the drawing. He's still playing with the caliper. Sorry. That's okay. Okay, so the steering is done. That step is done. Oh boy. Now we're in the front end. Whoa, ta ta ta. We're gonna find these parts in plastic and find these parts in the metal. So find four screws, find these shafts, uh, and I'll find the other parts. Me? And I'll okay. and uh, I'll put the I'll put your favorite toy away. Um, it's not my favorite toy. Just it's cool. I never saw that before. Yeah. If you need to measure something, just come and see me, and uh, you can borrow it. Maybe. You can borrow Dad's tools. Yeah. Uh, pretty sure that's the one. The one in all. We need how much? Two of them, four of them, two little C5. bars. Five. And where's the other one? Where's the other bar? Oh, 
right here. Okay. Now that's it. C5. Uh, D12. These are the D. I need the D10 and D10, D10. I'm done with my. Um... You're done with your things? Yeah. Can we finish before me? Because your task was a little bit longer, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, longer. We need to take the thing, look at it. D11. We're doing the front suspension. Yay! Okay, so he's found the shaft. Wait, I got me? this. They can't hear me. <laughs> I got that. I got that. Okay. So now we got to put things together. Yes. As per the the draw, uh, as per the uh, example. I mean, we, we need to put this and this and then this. I don't know. Okay, fo well, follow the follow the instruction. Like, go, use put this the same way. Oh, so we start with this, and then we go back. Okay, um, yeah. then start with one side. Three. Follow the drawing. Wait, 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 and know. follow the steps. I get this one first. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Okay, start with one piece. You got you're you're dealing with too many pieces there. You're looking this at one. it. And this one. That is correct. Now put that so one the same size, same like side, that. or same way. Like that. Are you sure? Yes. I don't think so. Oh. I think it's more like this. Oh, okay. Well, okay, yeah. See, because it goes up like this, and it goes up. Next one. This one. Okay. Like that. Then it's going to probably be like that thing. Oh, wait. No, it's not this. It's not like that, because I have the little thing over here. That. Okay, so that one, that one goes like... Like that, yeah. Okay, there's a ball on the bottom. There's a ball on the bottom, there's a, a thing on top. So I think it goes like this. Okay? But see, if I take this one and I hold it here, okay, like this is on the wrong side. Oh, okay. See, this one fits perfectly. This one has a groove, that one has a groove. So that one goes on that side. Okay. Okay? So now we have to put uh, a pin there that goes on top there. That's kind of weird the way they actually show it but we have to put one pin on this side and then we have to put this on here okay got it so and then before squishing everything together we need to put this because there's another pin so this is where it gets kind of crazy and wonky is that this goes like that okay and now you can actually close everything together. Like that. See here there's a line on top and there's a line. That's what they say. You gotta line up, align these marks. why it's not working maybe maybe let's see if not gonna be loose like you wanted to so it's gonna be hard to show on so there we go there this we is go. nice and loose we now got it. since you line up the two lines now everything is nice and loose Earlier I had it backward and we weren't, we're, see, now the suspension is going to work so nice. So align these marks is like that in Chinese. Yeah, align these marks is like that in Chinese, yes. Cool. So now we're going to put some screws at the back. I don't know why they don't give you black screws. Because see, you can actually see, now everything is black, but those two are actually silver. So it kind of clashes. There we go, everything is nice and soft. Coolio. The screws come from that side, so everything is fine. Everything is fine there. Now let's do it the other side. Again, this goes like, oh. This goes like that. 
for the small shaft. Put the carrier on top. Hello. And line up the two lines. It goes in really easy now. There we go. Uh, this one is a little... No, it's okay. Mm -hmm. So now, we can put the two screws. We're gonna do it. So eight is finished. You finished eight because I didn't help. Yeah, you. that's true. I basically did eight all by myself. But it's because it was kind of weird and wonky and it was giving me trouble and I didn't like it. But now everything is nice and... It's like a frog. It's like a frog. A frog know. or a plane or... Kind of weird. Whatever. It's kind of weird. Okay, now we're gonna attach it to the to there. So now we need some more parts. Tim, that that seems like like lines there, lines there, like, there. like yeah. There's lines everywhere and parts everywhere. But yeah, I guess yeah. True. I don't know how do you like you know what to do first. I mean, you start with something and you just do it. But yeah, it's true. It's because you got to look at the drawing and and find out exactly where they go. But it does get complicated. But if you just concentrate and look at the drawing, so let's find D one and then we'll uh, we'll talk more about it. And I know D one is these parts here. Yeah. So here, here's this and here's that. You can cut that D one out. I want you guys to see it. So. Here's another one. That is a part. Okay. Is it again the part one? Okay. Same part? Yep. Yeah. Same part. There you go. Second part. Oh, you want that? I want that. Because I'm going to cut the other one. The other plastic is a little tougher plastic, so I'll do that one. Oh, sorry. So this is B11. That part, that part, we got. So now we got to bring the rest of the stuff, which is the car, bring that in. Uh, we're going to need screws. A lot of screws. There's a lot of different stuff here. Well, let's, uh, let's attach that to the top first, and then we'll worry about this plate. So we'll move that over there. So now, when you look at this drawing, yes. it tells you to take this arm and put it onto what? Like when you look at this a and you clip. look at that. So you, I think if I have this right, okay, you can. So where are the couper? Where are the two parts that you cut off? I put it there. You put it there. Oh, I moved them. So here. Okay. So if I see well, so that's got the two um, holes there. And then right here, it's the part. And you grab this. And you put like this. Yeah, it should. Okay, let me see. I'm pretty sure that's it. Yes. Yes. So you do have to push hard on this I try? And, and snap it in there. Yeah. I'm going to try it. I'm going to break it, so I don't know. But you do it. I can't. It is a little tough. I like using something on top of it, and then you just help pushing down. You do have to push really hard on it. Like really hard. Like really hard, yeah. It turns. It's like a... I don't know. It's cool. It's like the other thing. Uh, yeah, it's for the suspension. So now, uh, we have to install the steering linkage, which we had earlier. And we moved over here. We have to put that on top here. The thing I like, oh, uh, like when you build something, it starts with nothing and seems hard when you have all these things. But like over and over, when you build it, that like it starts to like get the thing that you wanted in school. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, those are the six mil, uh, the ten millimeter. So we need uh, four of those. And one more. So this, and we need two, like that maybe, I don't know. Yeah, we need three like those. So 
So there's one, two, and three. There we go. And we need three little... Three little white washers. And one... Uh, where's that? Yeah, it should be that one. Yeah. It looks like a bigger one, but it should be that should be good. I mean, there's no bigger one. No. Uh, we need um, one like that, which is way up there. I think I put it. Uh, yeah, it's up right here. So we need this guy, and we need this guy. Oh, we can't see it on the camera, but anyways. Wait, it's not. Okay. okay. So let's move things forward. Not supposed to be. Move things over here. Okay, so now we're going to install this on the bottom. Let me move everything up. Try to keep things there. So now we're going to install the, the. Oh, we still got to finish this, but we got to use the screws. There we go, that's attached. Now this goes on from the other side, but before attaching it, we do have to install that little ball. So. I'm going to install that ball onto here. I'm going to start it off by hand. Try to put it straight. Once you start it off by hand, you can take the your cross wrench and actually install it all the way. Again here, you do have to be careful not to put it too tight because you might crack this. So you, once it gets to the end, you stop. Now that's done. Now they do show the, the image there that it had the arm has to be that way a little bit. So let's pop this in the hole. It goes in the hole here where the servo is going to be. And then on top, I'm trying to keep that arm on this side. And basically this should go right on it, but center to it. Now we got to find a small screw, which is a 10 millimeter. Put that here. There we go. Now this step is confusing, and especially for somebody your age to actually put it together. And that's why they mentioned to have a an adult present to actually help you out with some of these things. So it makes sense. So that's attached, that's attached. And now we're going to go with the bottom of the parts here, and it's attaching the uh, top plate onto there. So again, we're going to need some washers, we're going to need some of these things. Um, they do say to put some grease on here, and we will. Oh well, yeah, it's been a long time we didn't put grease on stuff. Mm -hmm. I usually use white grease, but on this one I'm, I'm using this. Um, I don't plan on going into... Uh, is there any bearings? Do we need, okay, the bearing is already in there. So basically the one with the shaft goes on this side, so we're going to insert this onto there. And there we go. Cute. That one is in there. And now we're going to put some grease on there also. And again, we do have a bearing in there, so the grease is not that important, but we are putting it... Anyways... Anyways, yeah. So there we go. Now when the dry shaft turn, everything turns. And when I turn one side here, it turns a reverse. So the diff is working good on the inside. So that's good for that. That's in there. So now we're going to take this arm. And see there's three screws. One, two, three. It goes there. And there's two up front. Hashtag frog. Hashtag frog. What are you talking about? It's a frog again. Yeah. No. Okay. So that goes on top. Okay, so we don't put the screws at this end yet, but we do put this one. So you screw that one here. Yay. Okay. You can put it on, on the tip of your screwdriver first if you want. I can just put it like that. That's cool. Because it's magnetic. Yeah, it's magnetized. Oh, no. Okay. I'm going to put it straight. Is this straight? I'm not yes, sure. Yes, it's straight now. <gasps> My first time putting it actually straight. I'm not sure if it's... No, no, it's not straight. No. 
Because uh, like, I should like... Yeah, that's because you're you're getting close to the edge where it's it's harder to screw in and you're you're trying to torque and, and as you torque you're going crooked. Let me finish it off for you. Okay, I'll put two in the front. And screw until it gets hard and then I'll finish it off for you. It's not hard, it's me that's not good. And it's okay, um, okay, put the other one. Because you're not used to it. Oh, you're really crooked now. That's it. Whoops. Whoopsies. There we can finish it off. So now we got to put the front casters on there. This is where it gets a little bit kind of odd, especially for the camera, is we got to put the control arm right on there, on this side, which you can't see on camera. But we got to put a screw and we have to put a washer there at the same time. So best thing to do is put the screw in. It's going to be hard to see, but you put the screw in and then you put the washer in on the screw all the way. And then you actually put it where it actually goes. Take your screwdriver. Again, this one I'm going to do because this one is very awkward for you. Okay, I guess. If you say so. I mean, I I'm I do what you tell me to do. So. Okay. Anyways, if I'm yeah. There. Now this is nice and bouncy, and there's no. force to it. So now we'll do the other side. Putting the screw, putting the washer. And now I'm going to have the carrier. There we go. Both of them are done. And both of them are very springy and no no reaction, no force to it. Cool. Step nine is done let's go to step 10 which step 10 is all the carriers for it so uh, bearings uh, little tiny uh, washers that's where the washer goes inside you can see the picture the little rubber washers so now we've got to find all these parts so this onto here uh, these parts here uh, these two little rubber thing which are going to go in there so little tip on these because it does have to go oh you can't see it on the picture it does have to go the, the little rubber washer has to go in there so if you want it to stay in there best thing to do is you take a little bit of um, uh, grease put some grease on there and then you drop your washer onto the grease and then you just push it in with it with any tool You push it in all the way to the bottom, and then that grease is gonna actually gonna help it stay in there. Okay, so that's there, that's there. So now we gotta find the big bearings for that. Okay, so we are not gonna use the brass bushing. We'll put those aside, keep them for a different project. That, that, that. Uh, we've got two of these, two of those. Uh, we need these big screws. There's four of them. One, two, three, four. Uh, two of these screws. Okay, now we need to find uh, this part here. Or here, you cut him. There I am wanting to do everything. It's mm, fine. Oh, I need to cut, cut the other one too? Yep. Okay, okay. So one side to the other, they are identical. So there's no reason why to put one on one side and the other one on the other side. Upright, upright, so it doesn't matter. But what we're going to do is actually install these little balls on there, the way they actually show. So I'm going to start this. you got your cross wrench. I'm going to start this for you, and you can finish it off.
finish it off in front of that small camera if you want. Just like that? Yep, just screw it in. A small ca this one? Oh. Sure, if you want. Or if you want to do it under this one in this corner right here, you can. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Look at that, we got four pair of hands. Yes. Now, make sure it's not... As soon as you touch, that's when you stop. A little bit more. Is that good? Yeah, that's perfect. Now take a bearing and put it put it in there. Well, you can. You, there's a, that one too that needs to be done. Oh, and this one. Yep. Yeah. Now it needs to go all the way in. Oh. Okay. So you put the cup in, and then you just push on it until it doesn't go in. Yeah, well, where's the cup? Where's the thing? Yeah, leave it in there. Oh. No, the other way. Put oh. it the other way. Yeah. I... Keep pushing. You're, you're not in. Look how this one is in. You're crooked. Oh, my God. Okay. Sick. There you go. I have it, right? Yep. Okay. Okay. So, this is in. We've done that part. Uh, rubber is in there. Little piece of rubber is in there. That's there. That's that. Dry shaft. Need a top screw, bottom screw, which are these. Uh, what are these for? They're for the back. These two are for the back. So let's put the carriers in there. Now this is kind of weird because see it goes like that. And you got to make it so that you can attach that control arm, which is over here. So first thing better to do is actually attach, you can actually attach that onto there with the plier, but you got to push hard. So let's try that real quick with you. Here's the plier. Now I'm going to hold this on top, squish on the bottom here in the top. Oh. Use both hands. Okay. Go ahead, no, no. squish hard. Squish. Go. It's in there. It went. Ah. Good job. So now before attaching here. Yes. Before putting the screw on top, don't forget the dry shaft. Now this goes all the way inside the little hole here. It goes in the hole and it goes into where this carry this thing is. And now you can actually put the rest of the stuff in here. Imagine someone give it like, like you buy like a, a RC and the, the the instructions are not in it in the box. Yeah, that would make it hard, eh? Yeah. I mean, if you know, like, if you can, like, I mean, I don't know if people can do it like without instruction, but but. Uh, yeah, it'd be harder. Yeah. Oh my god, now it's when you put the wheels and stuff. Okay. Yeah, we're getting pretty close that we are going to put some wheels and do some different stuff. Okay, so now we're going to do the other side real quick with the pliers again. Just like you did uh, a little while ago. Where is my carrier? It's over here. Oh, I thought you mean this. Yeah, that's what I mean. We're going to do that. So, you got to squish it. Hold on. Let me hold this. Now, you're going to have to stand up, because I'm kind of backward to you. I'm going to hold it like this. Okay, at the, at the, put your plier. Squish. Okay, go. There you go. Done. Done. Woohoo! Where is my dry shaft? Over here that in there. Make sure my little rubber is still in there. Yes it is. Put a screw on the bottom. Put another screw on top. These are very awkward to put so I'll do them for you. Okay. Like I've been doing some stuff. But then I'll let you put the two last screw on the bottom. But that makes it kind of cool. Okay, there's a lot of stuff. 
Uh, it's cool. See, I'll give it a try. So now everything's starting to turn like. Yeah. So now when when the servo turns this, see, it's going to turn the car. When we're going to connect things here, the electronics. Oh. <coughs> so yeah, we're now it seems like a. So here's the two see. screws. Put in one here and one there. <coughs> Experiment this one's good. Turn this first or whatever. I'm gonna try not to be a quick. Okay, well, got one. You can finish it after. Okay. If you want. That was fast. I don't know how I did that one so fast, but whatever. It's because you're getting used to it. Maybe. <coughs> there you go. Now you can finish it. Hey, it was almost done. Cool. There we go. That part's done. That part's done. Everything's there. Now when I turn the when we'll turn the motor, the wheels are gonna turn. Everything is turning fine. And the next step is the diff for the rear. So the diff for the rear, uh, and then building the uh, rear axle. That's going to be on a different video. So, uh, for now, thanks for watching uh, part two, part two um, of the video. That's for two. This is part two, yes. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, so, next part is going to be building the rear axle and assembling and uh, doing some stuff. Uh, trying to keep this about an hour long uh, every time. So, uh, Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next one, right? Yeah, next one, part three. That's true. That's true. That, that's what comes after part two. Yeah. Yeah. So, guys, keep having fun. Keep those batteries charged, and go out there and have some fun and break something. Because if you're not breaking anything, you're not having you're any not fun. You're not having fun. That's correct. So, talk to you guys later. Cheers.